Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. Today is a great day because it's cruise day. Come on in, check it out. So guys, we're here at the Port of Miami, Terminal A, just to kind of show you around. Pretty cool, the uh, propellers there. Let's head up. And uh, yeah, Royal Caribbean uses Terminal A and we had some serious problems getting into the terminal today we drove all the way to the terminal we had a 12 o'clock arrival but we got here about 11 15. the terminal parking was already all the way full so we ended up having to park there's a lot it's called lot j it's a garage it's about two miles away from the original um terminal a here uh, the good thing was though, it was free and it has a shuttle so there was a little bit of drama getting in but we're here now is a lot of people so if you're coming into Port of Miami just be ready because very very busy ah uh, guys whoo what do you think Roberta no I feel better <laughs> we feel better like I said I want to get right into this ship a little bit of drama with the parking as I said earlier uh, here at Port of Miami, first time. Give yourself plenty of time if you want to park at the terminal for Royal Caribbean. That's the best thing I can tell you. But guys, we're heading on to Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas. We're going to scan our tickets. Let's go board together. I will say though, Roberta, it is a beautiful terminal once you get inside. Very nice, but a little aggravating. Anyway, guys, we're getting ready to board. I love it walking in i'm gonna see you guys in one second so we can board the oasis of the seas together and this is the best part guys when you're with meddling world don't forget you're on the adventure we give you lots of information and we love to have fun let's board here we go guys what's going to be our first impressions of this awesome cruise ship oh it smells like a cruise ship it smells so good this cruise is Roberta, Jake, and I, so it's just us three. Guys, if you're new to our channel, you're gonna love our cruise logs. We show you smell, everything. Smell and bring pizza. You... Oh, yes, I do smell pizza. Here's our first impressions, guys. Take a look. This is the promenade deck. Wow. Oh, that's why we come in by right by Sorrentos, that's why. That's why we could smell the pizza, guys. Sorrento's Pizza right here. Oh, yes. Let's have some fun. I'm seeing Roberta just pointed this out. You see all the balloons up there? Looks like there's going to be a big balloon party on the Oasis of the Sea. I can see up through. That's one of the neighborhoods up there. That is Central Park. Just kind of showing you guys the first impression if you're interested in this ship and... Hanging out with Meddling World. There's nothing better than hanging out with Meddling World for cruise vlogs, is it, Roberta? There's nothing better. We live our best lives. We're gonna give you so much information and so much fun. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as we enjoy our Fortnite Hit the cruise. subscribe button. My man knows what's up. That's what's so great about cruising. We're already making friends here on Meddling World. It's gonna be fun. So this itinerary, guys, four nights out of the port of miami we have a sea day tomorrow yeah then uh day three we will be in cozumel, cozumel yeah day four sea day and then we'll be back here so it's a four-nighter which i'm excited about we do yes. a lot of three night cruises yeah. hey, roberta we have definitely done a seven yeah so the four is we have never done a four yes. jake what do you think right away at your impressions this looks amazing yeah jake's a little tired we drove down from central florida and look what we have here Cafe Promenade, guys. Jake's ready, and look at the nice car. Jake, look, look Jake's like, let's head in. Cafe Promenade, guys. Uh, awesome cafe. You can use your drink package. I'm gonna talk about the drink package in a minute, and they also have snacks. Jake's already found us a seat. We're gonna go ahead. I'll show you around up there. Show you some of the snacks. And we're gonna get a nice drink. So here we are guys, Cafe Promenade. They do have Starbucks coffees, uh, all your favorite uh, lattes, frappes, different drinks. And of course, 
at Promenade Cafe. Snacks which are all included in your cruise fee. So some desserts here, guys. And I'll show you over here on the other side in just a moment. Also little sandwiches and snacks, some fruit. So Cafe Promenade is a great spot if you're on the promenade deck when you first come on a ship if you want to grab a drink, a snack quick. Uh, I only talk about the beverage packages we have, but I really love the way this promenade cafe is set up. I'm loving it. It's cool. They also have, guys, if you do not have a drink package, these drinks here are included. Those coffees are included. They also have some ice water, teas. So there are drinks that are included in your fare, but we did get a, uh, we got the refreshment package, uh, Roberta and I did, which covers every beverage except alcohol beverages uh and jake we got the soda package um we're not big drinkers in fact i don't drink alcohol at all so i don't get the alcohol package but the refreshment package definitely for us worth it because we utilize it and we go above and beyond what it what it costs to to use it uh roberta's grabbing us some snacks and we're gonna show you what we get but guys what do you think so far Leave me some comments. What's your first impression of the Oasis of the Seas? Oh boy, I can't wait to bring this vlog to you guys. We're gonna have so much fun. Roberta, Jake, and I, us three together on this cruise for four nights. It's gonna be amazing. So guys, we're already in it. Like I told you, the, the beverage package is awesome. They have these awesome glass Pellegrinos. Uh, all this, uh, the food, like I said, included. And you also get, with the soda or the refreshment package, you get these freestyle cups. I'll show you as it, as the cruise goes on, they have Coca-Cola freestyle machines. So you can use the cups in those. And all you need for the cup is the soda package, which I think we got for Jake was like $10 a day. So very good. And the refreshment package, Roberta, around 31, 32. Yeah, that was uh, discounted before the cruise, pre-cruise So as Roberta said, if you do get pre-cruise, you'll get a little discount, bit of a discount. Yeah. It was like $31 for us around there, yeah. per yeah, day. Yeah. Uh, but per the, person, these yeah. alone, I'll drink six, seven of these a day by myself. So yeah. like I said, definitely worth it. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy some snacks. Uh, and let's see, we're on the adventure. Yeah. So we gotta, tell, we gotta just see what goes on next. So we had our snacks, our drinks. Snacks were fine, all right. Yeah. We definitely will keep you updated on the food. Uh, just to let you know, this is our third Royal Caribbean cruise that we've been on. Uh, so we are familiar with the different, um, you know, the Cafe Promenade, Sorrento's again. And I forgot to mention, this is all included. Sorrento's included in your cruise fare. Lots of included food on Royal, which we really love. So I'll make sure I point out what's included and what isn't as we go through our adventure. Um, so we are familiar with the ships, but the way we like to vlog is while we're on this cruise, Oasis of the Seas, we try to be very non-biased. I don't want to try to compare it to any other ships, any other cruise lines. Now, here and there, maybe I'll say, oh, on this ship, they did it like that. I'm not saying I won't do it at all, but I'd just like to show you what we're doing and how this uh, cruise is going for us. Right, Roberta? That's the way we like it. Because you're on an adventure. I already see something cool right here, guys. Starbucks. And that is not included on a drink package. As Roberta said, Starbucks not included in the beverage package. None of the beverage packages include Starbucks, but you know what's cool? You can use your app, you can use Starbucks gift cards, and you can use stars on the ship. So very, very cool with the Starbucks. But we're heading to do our muster. It's one thing that we try to get out of the way as soon as we get on the ship. So we're gonna head down, complete the muster. Muster all set, guys, awesome. But we had a little discrepancy. This actually has happened every time we've been on Royal Caribbean, to be honest with you. We end up reserving a time for dinner. We like the late dining. And then right before we get on the cruise, they switch it and they give us the my time dining. So what's cool is when you board the ship, we try to take care of all the business right here. My time dining reservation. We just so happen to see it. So we're going to talk to the crew member and see if they can fix it or at least get us some consistent reservation times. Uh, we do enjoy the, the main dining room. It's kind of like a nice just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Have a nice dinner. 
Uh, so it's something we look forward to. Uh, you know, so a little bit of an inconvenience for us as they did switch it and let's see what we can come up with. So if this happens to you, I can let you know. Well, not, not a great help there. Uh, we kind of explain what happened. He's kind of directing us towards the main dining room. He did offer us reservations for 8.15 each night, but couldn't guarantee the same servers. That's really why we like the main dining room is, yes. uh, like when you have assigned dining time, either the early or the late seating, you get the same wait staff every night. So you start to get to know them and they know what yeah. you like. And of course for this guy here, Jake, they bring them out like a shrimp cocktail without him even asking, you yeah. know? So we really do want to try to see if we can get back to our regular late dining. So let's head over, Roberta. Yeah, that's right. This is some of the things that happen when you first get on the ship though. So you gotta, you know, we try to take care of all the business right away. That way it's out of the, it's all done. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Oh, yes, we had a nice guy here. Sona from India. We love our crew members here on Royal. And he was able to get us 8 o'clock, Roberta, right? Every night. Every night, 8 o'clock. And, and he tried to. He said he's going to... He try. said their their goal is always to try to get us the same uh, wait staff each night. So we're very excited about that. Took care of most of the business. Yes. So we already have our reservations set up for our uh, entertainment. And in case you forget what day it is... Okay, You're on an adventure with Midland World. It's Sunday. Ah, oh, Roberta. Yeah. We're all over the place. This is what happens when you get on the ship. I'm telling you, guys. But listen, it's best just to do it right away. I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, get all the business done. Because yeah. then it's all over. Yeah. We learned that on our other cruises that yeah. a couple times through, and then wait a minute. Let's just do everything right yeah. when we get on board. But you did notice we went to Promenade Deck. Yeah. Uh, Promenade Cap first. A snack, but we had to get the cups. And we got. We decided to get the internet this time. We've never yes. purchased internet on a cruise. But we do need for work this we time. We do. I do need it a little bit because I got to be checking some emails and things throughout yeah. the next four days. That's the only reason we yes. got it because we actually like to disconnect. <laughs> to disconnect. Yeah. But speaking of that, I'm gonna give a shout out to our Patreon yes. channel. Uh, because when we go on cruises, we're going to utilize Patreon a lot. Yes. Uh, it's Patreon-only content. So if you're yeah. interested, we'll drop a link there if you want to check out yeah. our Patreon. But we got the internet. We'll keep you updated how it works. Yes. Um, and now, I think we're ready to go to our room. Yes. Let's head up. What I'm going to do, guys, is I'll give you a quick tour of the room. And then what we're going to do at the end of the cruise is I'm going to do, uh, after I do all the cruise vlogs, I'm going to release an in-depth room tour. And we're also going to review the room in the same exact vlog. So you'll find your CPAS cards. You'll see them right in front of your door. These are your keys to your room. Let's go in and check it out. Right, here we are inside the room. Like I said, going to do a quick, just kind of a walkthrough with you guys. So you can see it is a balcony room. I'll show you the balcony, but let's just have a quick look. You got your shower, sink. And as I just said, definitely going to do a full review of the room full tour and review uh we're right below the pool deck we're on deck 14 so that's why i want to do a review just to let everybody know how loud was it so we have the king uh, king or queen i think it's a queen jake yeah. thinks it's a queen we have a couple of these side lamps here phone i'm not seeing outlets there though but like i said we'll get a little bit more in depth a couple little shelves here also closet so you can kind of get perspective how big it is not huge but definitely good for four nights it comes with a safe let's head over this way and have your information here guys also have a refrigerator now i remember on the last oh it's attached these didn't work great they were Kind of more of coolers, but this one I think might actually be a refrigerator. A couple drawers there. Here's a bunch of outlets. So we have these three outlets here. I don't see one for, uh, what do you call those things, Jake? USB? Yeah, USB drives. Don't see any of those. So, and this bed does open up to a couch. <laughs> this couch opens up to a bed. 
let's go ahead and check out the balcony next like i said we're in the port of miami and we are on the i'm trying to get my logistics i think we're on this is the starboard side starboard side let's go take a look at the balcony oh yeah not bad pretty good a couple nice chairs here and pretty good view So there's your quick tour and like I said at the end of all of our cruise vlogs that we come up over the week I'll do a full room tour and review thanks to Roberta's idea but check out the city over there it's gonna be nice sailing away checking all that out here we go guys let's head out we're now leaving the room and we're up on the 15th deck just one deck above where we are and we're gonna head out and check out the pool can't wait oh right out this way let's go guys you're on a adventure with oh sorry camera with meddling well let's get our first impressions oh i do like the brightness i love the tropical vibe out here we got our water slides right here jake's gonna love these a couple more over there oh yeah what are you guys thinking man I oh, love it, love it, Jake. Are you ready to have some fun? Guys, there is the, uh, this is the Central Park area. One of the neighborhoods here on the Oasis of the Sea. Oh, yes. We love cruising. I love the bright colors on this pool deck. And it's like really nice out. There's a beautiful breeze coming through. It's like nobody in the pool. Awesome. Let's find a spot. One thing I wanted, I know it's loud guys, hope you can hear me. One thing I wanted to tell you about Royal, you see right here, towel station. So what you do is you take your room key. Hello, party time. Good. I can't start, I love it. All right. We always love our friends on Medling World. So you take your card here. And you can check out the towels. They keep track of the towels, so when you're done with them, you return them and they check your uh, CPAS card back in so that um, they're accounted for. Not they'll charge you, they say up to $25 for a towel. So keep that in mind when you're on Royal. Jake is now trying out the Perfect Storm water slides on this side here, as you can see. He already did the orange. I missed him. Now he's going to go try to red. We'll see what he says when he gets back down. But we're just kind of hanging out right now, guys. We're going to show you this whole ship all week. We're going to show you everything we're doing. We're going to bring you on our adventure. And I'm going to do a full ship tour, which I'll release at the end of our each day of our cruise as we vlog. Uh, after the room tour comes out right around that time, I'll put a full ship tour as well. But you're going to see this whole ship during the next several days as we hang out together. This pool here, I got friends right there. You see, this pool here already getting full. But plenty of seats. It's, it's boarding day, so a lot of people in their room getting things situated like we did earlier. That's why we did what we did. Now it's just fun. Here comes Jake. Let's see. Jake, how was it, Jake? Good. Good? Isn't that Fast, slow? Uh, in between. In between? Yeah. One to ten, how is it? Uh, seven. Seven. So Jake's saying it's about average. But Jake, he loves... Jake, you like the water slides, though, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Very fun. You going on anymore? Uh, I'm going on that last one. Maybe a couple. So Jake's going to go on this one here, guys. As he's going down that, I want to take you up one more deck up to the deck 16 and let's take a look out at miami guys while we're here in the port guys just to show you some of the awesome views off the port side you can see the city out there look at how awesome it is man this is a really like there was like i said some issues getting in here but i mean the views from this port are breathtaking i mean look at this it's awesome so yeah we came in actually so we came in over on the starboard side so we didn't get to see any of this as we were pulling into the port but so cool i remember i came here back in the 90s on a carnival cruise and i believe we 
back in those days you pulled in through this way can't remember but it's been so long but i do uh remember coming here one other time but so many years ago but isn't it awesome isn't it gorgeous while we're up here on deck 16 wanted to show you they also have these casitas that you can rent you can reserve these for the whole day for a fee and i will tell you that they definitely sell out because for this cruise there was no more available they were all sold out they also have right now there's no cushions on them but let me show you they have like these i think you know i would kind of like a shader almost like a a lounger and these are complimentary first come first serve but they usually have a cushion on them so maybe because we're in port they don't those are complimentary but first come first serve all right let's see what else is going on guys we got a lot to do this is embarkation day the best day of your cruise i think just getting on a ship having fun we've only really had one snack at the uh, cafe promenade so definitely need some more food some more fun and we're going to show it all to you today guys embarkation oasis of the seas right, this is the starboard side you can see they're actually thank you they're building another garage which they desperately need i mean it was this garage here for royal shortly after 11 was full you need to have better parking in that royal come on this is a huge port down here so it looks like a another garage going in there so this is the way we came in and now there's no traffic this was just a total log jam of traffic when we came in so give yourself again i know i said it several times give yourself a lot of time when you're coming into this port because we drove all the way in and it's oh no you got to go all the way to the other garage which was a couple miles away on garage j hey roberta yeah we're just waiting on jake he's enjoying the water slides but guys we're flexing our drink packages roberta what do you have there yeah, my, uh, miami what? oh miami vice yeah that uh one. the virgin miami vice mocktail uh included in our package so all of these awesome drinks red bulls jake's got a coke we have another drink there because he made a mistake and just brought us another one yeah it's like a pina colada uh, that was supposed to be a show it up here, Roberta. Say, oh, it was okay. supposed to be a Miami. Hey, wait a minute. You have a drinking problem. Two hands and one mouth. Uh -huh. I used to always say that back when I was in my youth. That's why I don't drink anymore, guys. But Jake is trying this one out now, the green one. Uh, we'll show you later in the vlog as we go through each day. There's a cool spot where you can view it, Roberta. And you can see inside. Yeah. So we'll, we'll do that at some point during the week. Yeah. But right now we're gonna enjoy these and then we'll be off to something else and we're gonna show it to you But we don't know what it is yet. Maybe we have a snack. I was just talking about that. And I was showing Miami Definitely. Sorry guys a little dark, but you can see where we're sitting too. We always like to sit under here in the shaded area Plenty of seats all the way down Especially on check-in day, right? Boarding day, pool deck not so busy. I'm interested though tomorrow's a sea day yeah. We'll see how it goes. There's so many things to do on this ship. Yeah. Guys, please take a moment, subscribe to me. We have so much to show you. So much fun to have. And we want you to feel like you're cruising with us. Yeah, I don't know if you notice too. Like, sometimes this happens, so I don't know what happened, but this, this pool is closed. Yeah, it's closed right now. I don't know why. That's why the other pool where I was earlier, guys, I showed you was very busy. Yeah, keep your mind on that. Yeah, it happens, but Roberta. When you watch your men in the world, you're on the adventure with us, right? And this, look, we got your seat right here. Yeah. And a towel. Yeah. For you. Yeah, come on. Hit the button and come on and sit down. You're all welcome. We have so much fun yeah. doing cruise vlogs. Let's see what Jake thinks of the, uh, we call this one the toilet bowl. The toilet bowl slide. Speaking of Jake, he just got back from the toilet bowl. Jake, how is the toilet bowl slide it's on this really ship? Really is it fast? fast? Yeah, I've heard somebody has gone around on around it like eight times are you what eight times in the in the bowl yeah oh wow that's what i was telling you guys we're going to show the bowl at some point so jake i gotta ask you jake is the toilet bowl better than the other two on the other yeah. side yeah. Definitely. Yeah. definitely okay thumbs up for jake this over here guys to my right is splash away bay kind of for the younger kids jake's probably right around the limit of enjoyment but if definitely i would say 10 and below nine below uh don't get me wrong jake jake would go on and probably have a good time but you can see 
I'll walk in there with you guys a little bit. Let's go just have a little walk around. Jake, see, yeah, he is enjoying it. You got like nice little splash here. Small slides for the kids. Got that little orange twister one, Jake. It's not too bad. Loving this. And oh, they got the bucket. Doesn't look like the bucket's on right now. So you guys can get an idea. Um, and what's really cool, man, is that it's very bright and theming. I love theming. I talk about that a lot when I vlog. Royal does a great job with their theming. Look at it again here. That's the uh, lime and coconut bar up there. All oh, the painting. Really, really cool, guys. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out, which I just noticed, which is really cool. So this is where you would enter in. But I am noticing that because you got kids in there, they have like a railing all the way around. So you can't really walk over it. That is really clever. I bet you they added that on after. Um, so yeah, let me see. So this is where you cut. I see people coming in and out. Now nah, there's probably a couple of areas like that, but after you, you know, if you have, you know, if your child's a little kind of old enough to be somewhat independent, right? Seven, eight. You don't have to worry about them wandering around. You can see it goes all the way around like that. I like that. That's really cool. Love that idea. Very smart, Royal. Shout out to you guys for doing that. Oh, and they got a baby splash. I didn't know that. Let's go check out that. So guys, check this out. Baby splash zone. Really, really neat. And one thing I just noticed about this, when you start vlogging, you start looking at your environment and surroundings. Look, it's shaded, right? Look it up there. Shaded and um, weather, right? If it's raining a little bit, that's all sheltered underneath. I like that. This ship, very smart. And this is the original Oasis class ship. They did a great job and they amplified it uh, guys, in 2019, which means they kind of updated it, upgraded it. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe the rails came in, maybe when they did the uh, amplification of the ship. So, wow, pretty cool. It's exploring a little bit more on 15, I believe. This is where we're gonna find tacos. Oh, I like the theming in here. Hey guys. Roberta, this is so nice. All covered in here too, guys. Just to show you, really want to try to give you as much information because if you're planning on coming on Oasis, you're going to want to know if it's a ship. I mean, we only have been here a couple hours, but so far, I'll say to Rome, not the green, you know, Rome, a little worn off, a little, but functional, right? Yeah. But not, not enough to complain. I have no complaints yet. Just fine. <laughs> Let's check out some tacos. Cheese quesadilla. I think I'll try one of those. Hey, they got chicken burritos, guys. Beef burritos. The line was pretty long. So, we'll see. Roberta, why don't you grab a burrito for us? We'll try one. And on the other side, looks like some nachos and tacos. Let's go find out. You guys have nachos. They also have the tacos. Hard shell and soft shell. I'll show you the rest of the stuff, guys. We have cheese. We got the chili beef, Mexican beans, Mexican rice, chicken, and pork. Jake's making a taco. He's making a chicken one. Interesting. Go for it, Jake. You guys, also have the salsa station. All the different toppings. Different salsas. Look at that. Really neat. I also see some hot sauces, I think, over on the other side. Let's go take a look at that. Lots of great hot sauces, too, guys, to choose from. Looks like they have their own house sauce. And in case you're wondering, the name of this place is, I think it's called uh, Loco Fresh. So, pretty cool. Yes, yes, yes. Let's find a spot. Sit down. This is where Jake starts to come out of his shell when we're on this. I Go ahead, Jake. Chicken, cheese, and lettuce. Here he goes. Let's get a, a live action here, guys, and get Jake's first opinion of uh, the taco here at Local Fresh. What do you think, Jake? 
good chicken, you can taste the cheese and the lettuce. It's good in general. It helps out. Good in general? Yeah. That sounds good. So, so far we have a good. And Roberta's here with the rest. Oh my gosh, Roberta made us, as I was vlogging showing you, Roberta made us a plate. Look at those tacos that Roberta made. It looks like guac. You loaded them right up. What yeah. do we have, chicken? Chicken, chicken, pork, rice and beans. Some uh, nachos. Chicken quesadilla there and nachos, yeah. And we got a burrito. Oh yes. Let's try it, guys. I also wanted to let you know, this is included in your, in your cruise fare. And they do have these uh, Vitality by Nestle. This is also complimentary. So I'm gonna get a couple drinks for us. You know, we have the drink package. I still like to have these because why not? What did you think, Roberta? Oh, Roberta's stuff in her face. She not really love me for that one. So guys, I think that we showed you everything we had. I would definitely say the tacos were the best out of what we had. Uh, the quesadilla was just, as Roberta, you said, plain. But it's, it's a quesadilla and it's right. good for a kid, right? Yeah. And that's why they have the condiments. Uh, the salsa bar, you can load it up with what you like. The burrito is average at best, but the tacos are good. I'll definitely back to the tacos. Yeah, tacos definitely good. You guys heard what Jake said, but I do want to show you around, which I do like again, guys. Try to give you a lot of information. It's all covered under here. So that's where we got the food was over there. And this is all covered, so I really love the way that they thought this ship out. Uh, it makes a lot of sense, right? Shaded, protected from the rain, the wind, uh, and the sun. So I would say El Loco Fresh, not a bad spot. Good, good spot when you want to snack on a cool deck so far. <laughs> I mean, there's more to see. It's exploring a little bit more of the oasis of the seas. So that's where we were at the uh, tacos. And this is one of the other neighborhoods. This is where we're going to go and watch the aqua show. Forgot one of the nights this cruise we're going to be there. That show is awesome. Um, but this one is, I think it's Aqua 80, which I heard is one of the best ones we haven't seen. And this is the boardwalk neighborhood. You can see they have... Um, balcony rooms that overlook these different neighborhoods and we'll be down there later on we're going to show you all about that but we're just kind of exploring the oasis of the sea really enjoying it and i'm already seeing another place here this looks like it's a barbecue area i tell you man i love how they just have all this covered nice so let's meet here this is a barbecue Portside Barbecue, I guess is the name, Portside Barbecue. So yeah, another barbecue place. I do though believe that this one is not complimentary. Let's go inside though while we're here and let's have a look. Walk in together. <clears throat> oh, it's nice in here, man. I am impressed with this, guys, already. We're not gonna eat anything right now, but as we're walking by, I do wanna have a look and see what they have show you at least the menu and let's see how much it costs just kind of want to show you some of the different prices what's show what it's standing out to me is that pit master special so pit master favorite two sides and a dessert it's only 10 bucks and you have the signature combo and then you can just do like single cuts different things like that but this is what stood out to me for a kid 12 and under four dollars you get chicken fingers or a half barbecue chicken in a side. This is some of the food they have, guys. Corn looks good, doesn't it? Mac and cheese in there. Some chicken. Looks like some brisket there, possibly. So. You gotta think, for something like this, you can't charge too much, right? Because there's so much complimentary food uh, similar to that. But that's barbecue. Some more views. wanted to show you guys some more views at Splashaway Bay. Remember we were just over there just kind of looking down and just everybody really enjoying the scenic view of Miami. I will say you know now that we're on the ship and we're relaxed that, that traffic and that, that was that really added a lot of stress. We were trying to get on the ship on our time and early but now that we're here and we're relaxing it is beautiful here in Miami. This, this port is, it's nice now that we're here and we're not stressing anymore. Right now we got DJ. DJ's out over there.
over there to do like a dance party. And before the DJ, it was actually a live band. So, almost getting ready to sail away. Here we go, guys, sailing away. One thing I love about Miami is all those awesome, beautiful homes here. I believe some celebrities over there. This is so cool. And we get to listen to this song, right, while in Miami. Much better than that. That pulls back, but the other one is closed as we sail away. So guys, heading back to our room here on the 14th floor, I think. Yeah, this way. Hopefully we have our luggage by now. We're about to find out. So we have Dewith from Jamaica. He's got our room attendant, and you can see he has turned down our bed for Jake. Um, and something else fairly new. It's been about a little over a month. Let me come on outside on the balcony. Show you guys this as we have a little chat. So with Royal, they used to come twice a day. Kind of the cruise industry. Uh, their room attendants would usually come in the morning and then come when you're at dinner and turn your room down Now things have changed on Royal Caribbean anyway uh, They only come once a day. So he said either in the morning or he'll come at night uh, So just once a day if you're planning on cruising um, He said it's not fleet wide yet, but on the bigger ships the Oasis class uh, these size ships uh, All once a day, but well, guys look how beautiful that is and we are right below the pool deck. I can hear the music a little bit, but you could hear how loud it was when we are on the pool deck here. In the room, can't hear anything. And out here, it's just very, very mild. So, so far, that's our update with our room. Uh, and time to clean up and start some fun for nighttime. So we're all cleaned up, showered up. We're gonna head over here to Studio B. They have an ice skating show. Uh, we made some reservations, so let's go check this out a little bit. And I'll show you a little bit of the studio. Uh, guys, it's pretty empty in here. The show is about 15 minutes from now, so uh, let's go see. But you can see real ice skating here on the uh, Oasis of the Sea. So, Roberti, ready for the ice skating? Yeah. What's the name of this ice skating show? Barbings, Barbings. Oh, yes. and of course we have... A What's great about Royal, guys, everywhere you go, they have somebody ready to get you a beverage. The pool deck, the theaters, the ice skating. Take a look. That is ice, guys. Yes, we're at sea. We're heading to Mexico, but yes, we have ice. Okay, so the name of the show is Frozen in Time. Jake is saying cheers. Of course, I've got another Pellegrino. Roberta's got another Pellegrino. And what we'll do is... When the show comes out, we'll show you a couple clips of the show. And then we'll let you know how we liked it. We'll give it a little review for you. And then it'll be time to eat. I think we're going to try to get into the main dining room, as I said earlier today. Let's see how that works out. coming out of Studio B right behind us. Uh, so the show was, I think it started a little we left, slow. We left a little early. We have... Hold that thought. I just want to show everybody something. This is, this used to be, I think this was formerly a jazz area. It's now a non-smoking casino. Oh, so there is a non-smoking casino on board. Pretty cool. So guys, we got out of the show. We had to stop at the room quick. 
But before I review the show, look at that sun setting over the ocean. That is absolutely gorgeous right there. So the show was, let me get some better light. There we go. <clears throat> the show was, it was okay. Listen, you know, I think the ice skaters, Roberta, they were very talented. Very talented. I just didn't find the show like, it started really slow, I think. Then it got better. They did some really cool tricks. It was cute. It was a nice show, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, you know. I'll probably it, not be back. So right, I'm yeah, it was, it was fine. And just to let you guys know, oh, there goes the sun. Look at that. Hold that thought, let's take a selfie. Let's all take a selfie with Meddling World. Guys, you're on with Meddling World right now. We love to do selfies when we're on cruises with all of you guys. Selfie on Meddling World. Another thing I wanted to let you know, uh, right now we're heading to dinner. And all these shows you see us go to, not all of them, but the ice skating show, you can go on the Royal Caribbean app when you get on the ship. I didn't really talk a lot about the app. So when you come on the ship, whether you purchase internet package or not, the um, app will work. All you have to do is set your phone onto airplane mode, hit Wi-Fi, and then connect to the ship uh, Wi-Fi. That allows you to use the app. Now, it won't let you use any other things. You might get a few little alerts on your phone, but um, other than that, the app is free, and uh, they do allow you to use the internet for the app you can go on and make reservations it has the daily compass which is all the different activities that go on on the ship as you'll see during the week we'll be going to like probably trivia some different things i should say over the next four nights but anyway now it's time for dinner we did have to stop jake spilled his soda and got it all over his shorts so that's why we uh kind of hurried up come up here change now Let's head to the main dining room. Let's hope that we get seated on time. We are on deck three. Deck three is where you're gonna find my time dining, correct, Roberta? Yes. Main dining room, deck three, my time dining without reservations. We have reservations. Well, does not look like a long line. Looks like we're gonna be able to get in pretty quickly. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, guys. I'm not going to complain yet. No complaints yet with my time. No, not yet. yet. Wow, that was fast. That was quick. Awesome. We're already going in, guys. Show you the dining room as we walk in. And this is, again, deck three. This is the main dining room. A lot of, you know, relaxed atmosphere. And they do have, they have a advised dress code where... Not very strict. They like you to wear, you know, pants. They do like you to wear a, a, a nice shirt. But again, um, not strict. Also like you to be comfortable. So, all right, here we are. We are at 3.15. All right, guys, so we put our order in. One thing I want to let you know, when I am in the main dining room, I really try to be very respectful to the other guests that are eating, so. Uh, definitely we'll show you what we get. We'll review what we get and um, Definitely give you our opinions. But so far waiter is awesome Dua and the assistant Ida very good service uh, Very impressed. So as soon as our appetizers come up, we're gonna let you know what we get. Jake has the crab cake He's gonna dig into that I went with the escargot and Roberta tomato soup we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna eat our appetizers. We'll come back, we'll let you know how they were. So we finished our appetizers. We actually have our main entrees. I'll show them to you in a minute. My escargot was actually really good. Uh, very tender, good buttery garlic flavor. Really liked it, and even the bread that came with it, I kind of dipped it in the sauce. Really good. Uh, Roberta, you really liked your... Yeah, it was really good. It's so Roberta's soup again, really good, and Jake enjoyed his crab cake. This is uh, Jake got the New York strip. I got the prime rib, and Roberta got mushroom. Uh, what is it, Roberta? Yeah, it's portobello mushroom. Portobello mushroom. Yeah. So we'll go ahead, dig into these, and let you know how good they were. I'm just gonna tell you right now. 
all of our entrees. Roberta? It was delicious. Delicious. Jake? <laughs> we're all really tired, but I, I, I do want to say that our entrees were like very good. Like really, really good. It was delicious. So you, you can't go wrong with any of those. But I do want to show you dessert. This is a chocolate custard with uh, no added sugar. Jake got the Boston cream. And, oh yeah, Jake is, go ahead, Jake. Jake's stealing my raspberry. And Roberta has the key lime pie right there. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dig into our desserts. And then uh, we'll kind of wrap up dinner. We'll talk about dinner. And we'll see what's next. Uh, on the night, but we're getting pretty tired, but I think we may head out to the boardwalk a little bit just to show you that But guys tomorrow the next day the next day we have a lot more to do on this ship You just saw a little fraction of this ship so far today tons more to show you just coming out of the main dining Oh, man dessert also hit the spot everything's so good um and dua and ida were excellent we did request to have them again tomorrow night couldn't give us a guarantee they said they'll do everything they can to try to at least get us back in their section so you know hopefully we will but they you know one thing i want to point out with dua and just the dining in general guys when you go into the main dining room give yourself 90 minutes it took us 90 minutes but Duo was really cool because when we first got in, he said, do you have any plans later? Like, do you have to be at a show? Do you have any designated time you want to be somewhere? They will kind of expedite your dinner and kind of move it along a little quicker if need be. So, uh, we kind of enjoyed just kind of hanging out tonight. So, but if you do, if you need like an hour and you have to hurry up, they'll take care of it for you. So, really cool, but we want to head out. I want to show you guys a boardwalk. Here we are, deck six. This is the after the ship. This is the boardwalk, which is one of the neighborhoods on uh, the Oasis class ship, and this being the Oasis of the Seas. It's so cool. Just set up like the old boardwalk style. You can see the, the ground. And this is showing kind of the progress of making a carousel horse. They do have a carousel working complimentary included in your fare with the cruise uh let's go have a look at that carousel i'm not sure if it's running right now i don't see anybody on it but it usually does and you can ride this again complimentary have a look around it isn't it so cool out here guys you can see those cool balcony rooms the Oasis class on Royal, really awesome ships. And Jake, he's already, he's loving it. He lives his best life. Guys, on cruise ships, you're gonna see as you go through this, Jake just absolutely loves them. Uh, looks like the carousel, I don't know if it's going or not. Let's find out. Maybe we go for a ride. Let's check. Carousel is closed. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you what's going on. I mean, my Boston Bruins is in game seven. That's why everybody was screaming. It's in overtime. Let's see if they pull it out. But carousel closed. And this is actually Playmakers. This is where you can watch um, all your sports. It's like a really cool uh, sports bar style. Um, although the food there is not complimentary. Uh, I believe you can use your drink package though. So let's see what happens with the Bruins. Wow. There's some live action there. So you can see the Bruins are on there. Uh, different games on. So this is quite a popular spot. Yeah, I'm originally from New England. Now we live in Florida, Central Florida, but definitely the Bruins. I can't, they had such a great regular season. I know I'm rambling on about the Boston Bruins, but they're in game seven in the first round of the playoffs. Behind me, you'll see Johnny Rockets, guys. This is a Johnny Rockets. This is not complimentary for lunch and dinner, but for breakfast it is. I th I'm thinking we're gonna come here and have breakfast tomorrow morning, actually. 
um, because I think we'll have lunch at the Windjammer maybe tomorrow so we can show you a couple different food options. Here guys, you'll see the Abyss slide. It's a dry slide. Starts up on deck, I think it's 15, uh, the pool deck. Comes all the way down, you come out here. So really neat. It's closed now. And kind of continuing on here with just chilling on the boardwalk. Isn't it cool though, man? Look at a view there. It's nice. And back here, guys, is where you're gonna find. Oh, look, here's Jake. Yeah, like a little bus here. Cool. And back here is where you're gonna find the Aqua Show, man. Aqua 80, and we'll be doing this one of the nights this cruise. We have reservations, so can't wait to do that. Roberta, do you remember yeah. what night? Well, you remember? I think it at like two, I think. And again, when you get on the cruise ship, or actually, you can do it before you get on the cruise ship, you can start making oh, reservations. It's in here. You can start making reservations for all your shows. You don't have to wait till you're on. Uh, you can do it on the app. I think it opens around 30 days before uh, your departure date. Uh, and then again, I'll show you a little bit more of the app tomorrow, I think, as we go on. But just kind of chilling after dinner. Hope you guys are enjoying our vlog today. Again, this is embarkation day. This is the first day. We have a heck of a lot more to show you. But I think today we did really nice because what we did was we tried to incorporate everything about cruising, right? We did some relaxing on the pool deck. Uh, we ate in the main dining. We enjoyed all the different food. And we also love to just be on the adventure. So we're really trying to incorporate all those things as we cruise. Jake wants me to come on in, see and yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, this is cool, man. We like a little chill spot. And. And let's see, Jake is leading the way here, guys. Oh man, I might be a little big for this, but I'll try. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, be careful if you do this. Oh, we might have. This could be a good spot to watch the Aqua Show. Oh, I just hit my head. Here we are. There's Roberta down there. We're just having fun, man. Pretty cool. I hung out long enough to watch the Boston Bruins lose, but it's hockey, man. You're a hockey fan. When you get to the playoffs, anything can happen. But on the contrary, I do live in Florida now, and Florida Panthers won, so... I guess I'll have to jump on with the Panthers now. Maybe they'll win the Stanley Cup. They just beat the best team in the NHL in seven games, and they won game seven in Boston. Pretty good. Ah, guys, take a look. I didn't show you this yet. This is, um, forgot exactly the name of it, but it start the Rising Tide, I think, is actually the name of the bar. It's the Rising Tide. So it starts down here on Promenade Deck 5, and it goes up into Central Park which we haven't even gotten to yet either. Um, so it's pretty cool. We have gone in there before on another Royal Caribbean cruise. So we'll definitely show you that during this cruise. We'll go chill in there. Um, but I think we just want to take a nice walk through the promenade deck this time of the night. Show you guys just what's going on a little bit. And then we'll probably end up wrapping up the day getting late. I gotta show you this too. This is called the Bionic Bar. Right now it's under maintenance. We'll come back. We'll show you guys this during a cruise at some point. Robotic bar. So you can do mocktails. We do mocktails. And they'll make you your drink. Show you exactly how it works during our cruise at some point. But it's actually pretty chill here on the promenade deck. Uh, oh, probably like 10 o'clock. They usually will have some kind of party here. It usually starts around this time of the night, so it'll start to get busy uh, after 10. So, hanging out. And Jake, oh, they have these cool things on this ship. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can look in them. You probably, oh, maybe you can. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah, like, wait, wait. Wait, right there, right there, yeah. So, yeah, they're pretty neat. There are several of them. Uh, we've been enjoying just 
looking through. Also, you can get down to the casino quickly here. Casino is on deck four. I'm gonna give you a full tour, guys. We're just kind of hanging out. I just want to kind of show you what's going on on our first day. This is typical how we cruise. This is this, remember earlier today, uh, the complimentary pizzas here. Yes, uh, Jake decided he wanted to eat pizza. We'll let Jake chow down on that. I got a couple too. But yes, we're back over here in the promenade path. But we did run over to Sorrento's and grabbed a couple slices. I'll show you about Sorrento's a little later on because it was just so busy in there. I, I just, <laughs> and they only had cheese and uh, pepperoni. So during the day when it's a little slower, we'll go back in there. I'll show you everything they have again, all complimentary. All right, Jake, what are you thinking of the Sorrento's? It's pretty good. You like it? It's good for pizza. It's a good pizza. Guys, you watch our vlogs a lot. We used to live in New England. All the pizza up there is amazing. Florida pizza, it's tough to find really good pizza. We found a couple places that's all right. So that's when we say it's good, means it's like for us from New England, it's probably average, but the pizza's okay. And also, and there's so many things I got to cover for you guys and talk about. You remember when we came in, of course, beverage package again. Nice thing is you can get a couple bottles of water, save this for tomorrow morning, get a Gatorade, all included in our refreshment package. Also, do you remember the cups we got when we first came on? The uh, I showed them to you actually when we were in here. You don't have to carry that cup around with you. It, it comes, as long as you get the soda package, it's included, and then every other package you get that cup. That cup is only used at Freestyle Machine. So you can walk up to anywhere here, even with the soda package, and they'll get you a soda. The machine gives a lot of options. But the machine, it is freestyle, so you have 100 yeah. plus options. But you don't have to carry that cup around with you unless you want to use the freestyle machines. There are a couple at Sorrento's. Again, I'll get over there during the tomorrow, the next day, and show you a little bit better when it's not so busy. It's kind of hanging out, show you around a little bit. This is a Royal Caribbean kind of store here. Oh, you're royal. They usually have different deals each day of the week. They usually put out a bunch of tables on Royal. So I guess they do a little different on this ship. Like I said, non-biased. Just showing you how this ship goes. It looks like we have two for 30 with these hats. And each night probably we'll have something different down here. Uh, hats, bags, Different purses, two for 30. So today it's kind of a two for 30 deal. I wanted to show you guys this elevator. I love that it's all like touch screen. Really cool. We want to stop on eight quick. It's embarkation day. Let's stop on eight quick because eight is where Central Park is. Let's go just take a quick walk through Central Park. Just trying to show you as much as we can on this first day. Uh, and we'll wrap up the vlog out here. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it going. Jake wants us to keep it moving as we walk into Central Park together. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Definitely we'll come back in a day so you can see it. But what's really neat is all the plants you see out here, they are alive. They are real plants. And it is so nice here at night. Very relaxing. You can see up there's the pool deck see up there that's the lime and coconut bar that's where the live band was was right underneath that sign earlier today and they do have balcony rooms we actually stayed on harmony of the sea we stayed in a central park balcony room and it was fantastic we loved it so you get an idea here of central park at night gorgeous right, this is park calf this is open uh for breakfast and lunch every day we'll definitely stop in there we'll probably have a breakfast in there uh one of the days maybe the day we stop at port we'll try breakfast there and they have a little bar over here this is called the trellis bar very chill out here at night though isn't it it's much different than promenade deck five here is much more relaxing fresh air and actually feels so nice out here right now I know it's a little dark guys but I think this is a good time we're tired we're gonna head to the room again I tried to show you as much as we could the first day hard to cover everything but please we're gonna come back join us please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet tomorrow 
full day at sea. Gonna show you all kinds of things going on on the ship. We're gonna go have breakfast at Johnny Rockets, as a matter of fact. So, guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, see ya!